If you need some extra assistance getting up into your 2018 or newer four-door JL Wrangler, these drop side step bars will be a set that you'll want to check out. Now, if you and your passengers are struggling to get in and out of your Wrangler on a daily basis, whether you have a stock height Wrangler or you've added a leveling kit or a lift kit and you need more help than the average side step will offer, these are going to do a great job at that. Not only will these be functional when it comes to accessibility, but with the tougher construction, these will also be a great protective mod for your rocker for any daily road kick up or lighter off-road scenarios. Now with the nature of a drop step, I would keep in mind that these are going to come down off of the Jeep. So again, lighter off-roading is recommended with these just considering the clearance. These are gonna tuck very closely to that rocker area, almost looking like a factory ruby rail right up at the top, which will offer a clean appearance, but will also have the addition of a large drop step for the added boost up into your Jeep. That tight fit design will also provide a decent amount of coverage to the rocker, again, protecting your paint from any harsh kick up uh, from the front tire or just off-road in general. Now, the step itself will have roughly a four and a half inch wide stepping surface to plant your foot, offering a good amount of space, and it's gonna have raised fins on top for some extra traction, especially on those wetter days, and of course, that sporty look. Now these are gonna be made of a durable steel material being uh, tough enough to take a hit if you do go off-road and they are going to be able to support up to 500 pounds. Now the steel is also going to be pre-treated, e-coated, and then covered with an anti-scratch heavy texture black powder coat finish, which will protect the steel underneath from any rusting, but also keep these looking new for years to come. These will also come with everything that you need in order to install them, including all the brackets and the hardware for a no fuss install. Install. For a step, the price of these is going to be pretty average, but will save you a few bucks compared to other drop steps available at roughly $350. Now what I like about this set here is that this is going to offer that boxy and very heavy duty look while keeping it to the basics, offering everything you need out of a step, including the quality and the durable construction and the functionality of that drop in the step. Now it's also going to make it great if you're not looking for a flashier option, you just need that extra drop, but you don't want to completely break the bank at the same time, this is gonna do just that. Install will be a lighter two out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you roughly two hours to get the job done. Now, speaking of the install, one of our customers here at XT has installed this on their Jeep and is going to walk you through the process of what that looks like step-by-step. Step. So that's gonna wrap it up for me. Let's go ahead and get into it. For this install, you will need an impact, ratchet, extension, 10 and 13 millimeter sockets, 16 millimeter swivel socket, 10 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, and a 17 millimeter wrench. What's up guys, today we're gonna to be installing a set of side steps on our Jeep, so let's get started. So to start things off, we're gonna get our three main mounting brackets in place, and they're gonna go at the front, middle, and rear of the vehicle. Now there are open threaded inserts underneath your vehicle behind the pinch welds, to access to be able to thread in your uh, mounts here. So we're gonna grab our provided 13 millimeter bolts, lock washers and flat washers, and there's one per bracket. And we'll go right into the slot here. And we're gonna loosely thread these in for now just to hold the brackets in place. So we've got our front one started. Now we'll do the same for the rear and the middle. So now we'll grab our next 13 millimeter bolt, lock washer and flat washer, and we'll get our middle bracket in place. We'll go ahead, loosely thread this in. And now that we've got that one in, we can move on to the rear. So your front and center brackets are gonna look the same, but your rear bracket is gonna have these little notches around the mounting point. So that, that is how you'll differentiate which one is the rear and which two are middle and front. So we've got our rear, and again, Another 13 millimeter bolt, lock washer and flat washer. Go ahead and get this loosely in place. Okay. So now we're gonna come back under, now that our, all of our brackets are loosely installed and we're just gonna snug them down. We're not gonna fully tighten them yet. So we're gonna grab our 13 millimeter socket on our impact and we're just gonna run these up. So they're snug, but they still have room to wiggle. And these mounting holes are slotted. So we're gonna pull them out to their farthest out location while we do this. You notice they're snug, but they still move. 
And we're going to do the same thing for the other two as well. Alright, so now that we have these brackets snugged up, we can go ahead and install our support brackets, which are going to go here behind the pinch weld and get mounted to the pinch weld as well as our main bracket. So what we're going to do is slide this up over our main bracket here and get it lined up with the holes in the pinch weld. And then we'll install our hardware, which is going to be two 10 millimeter bolts, two flat washers, and a 10 millimeter lock nut for each bracket. So we'll get that in position here. Get our first one through with the bolt and flat washer. And on the back side, we're gonna put a flat washer and our 10 millimeter lock nut. And we'll get our second one in position here. Followed by another flat washer, lock nut. Then we're gonna repeat the same process for our other two brackets. So next we're going to install our bolt that attaches our support bracket to our main bracket. So we're going to grab our supplied 16 millimeter bolt and a flat washer. Go ahead and put that through. And then on the back side we'll add another flat washer followed by a 17 millimeter lock nut. Again we'll just loosely install that for now and we'll do the same thing for the other two brackets. So now we're going to come back and tighten down our bolts for our support bracket going to the pinch weld as they don't really need to move. The only pivot that we still need is from the support to the main bracket. So we're going to grab our 10 mil socket on our ratchet and a 10 millimeter wrench. We'll go ahead and tighten these down. Then we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other two brackets. So now it's going to be time to get our side steps in place. So first we're going to grab three of the six 13 millimeter combo bolts that we need. And we're going to grab our side steps. And go ahead and line those up with our main brackets here. And since they have that L shape, you will get some support from the bracket. Let's go ahead and get these bolts started. So we're going to grab our first combo bolt here. Go underneath. And we'll get this one hand tight for now. Then we can move to the front and the rear. And do the same thing. Get our rear one in place. Now that should support it enough to where it'll hang out and then we can do the rest of the things we need to do. So now we're going to go ahead and grab our other three 13 millimeter combo mounting bolts and go ahead and get those on the back side of the L part of our bracket to mount to our side steps. And once we have that a few thirds in, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the other two brackets. So now we can begin tightening down our mounting bolts from our bracket to our actual side steps. And for these back ones that we just installed, we're gonna grab a 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench. We'll go ahead and tighten those down first. And 
Then we'll repeat that process for our middle and rear one for the back one. So now we're gonna come back and tighten our bottom 13 millimeter combo bolt, as well as our main bracket mounting bolt to the body with our 13 mil socket on our impact. And then we can go ahead and do the same thing for the middle and rear brackets. So now we're gonna tighten our mounting bolt from our support brackets to our main brackets using our 17 millimeter wrench and 16 millimeter swivel socket on our impact. And once we have that tight for the front, we'll go ahead and do the same thing for the middle and rear brackets. So now once you've completed this process for this side, you can go ahead and repeat these same steps for your other side. Alrighty guys, that about wraps up our review and install of our drop side set bars for your 18 to current Jeep Wrangler JL 4 door. Thanks for watching and as always for everything Wrangler, keep it right here at ExtremeTerrain.com.